EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for May 30th, 2019. For your Thursday and for the third consecutive day, we'll be dealing with an opportunity for scattered showers and thunderstorms. And uh, I don't think we're going to be dealing with a lot of severe weather today, so it will be some isolated severe weather. It will not be like the last two days, I don't think, but uh, we'll have the opportunity for at least some, just not uh, what we have seen on both uh, on both Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we had some tremendous, tremendous damage reports across the region again yesterday, and uh, we were just very busy with some, some tremendous amount of storms that we're dealing with. Um, you know, so we're, we're hopefully today's toned down a little bit and we're finally coming out of it. We do see a, a light at the end of the tunnel. That's going to end with this system coming through today. It's going to make, make its way eastward. I think the day starts off mostly cloudy and then we get from basically in a mid afternoon through mid evening threat, uh, for scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through with this low pressure moving through the region. This is going to drag a cold front through and then we're going to have a mostly sunny day here on Friday and a, a little bit cooler a little, and not as certainly not as muggy as it has been over the past several days as well. So let's get over the NAM and take a look what that does. Uh, here is looking at uh, this is looking at 1 p.m. on Thursday. So with mostly cloudy in the morning, no precipitation be before this. So we're just looking at a few scattered showers and perhaps thunderstorms. I think the main thunderstorm threat here today is going to be a little bit further south, but these are a lot more uh, few and far in between compared to what the radar looked like yesterday and the day before. So again, some of these could take advantage of uh, some, some uh, in the areas that do get some stronger instability. And uh, yeah, you, could, you could take advantage of some of the atmospheric and give, you get an isolated uh, you know, thunderstorm report here with uh, severe winds being the primary threat. Isolated tornado cannot be ruled out yet, but again, this is going to be a lot uh, more few and far in between compared to what we've seen over the past couple of days. And this goes right through the evening hours. Uh, this is early evening, and this is probably going to wrap up around mid-evening or so and then start to pull away. Uh, so we'll watch these closely today, but I don't think it's going to be quite as active on the radar as we've seen in the last couple of days, or at least we're hoping, because we really don't need another repeat of that, of what we dealt with over the past couple of days. So again, th uh, Friday, back to the maps, uh, the global maps here. Uh, back to mostly sunny skies here on uh, on Friday, and then we are partly to mostly sunny here on Saturday. Uh, probably partly cloudy later in the day with uh, another system trying to make its way toward our region. This is going to come through on Sunday, though, so I think we're going to have an opportunity for some scattered showers, not so much thunderstorms. Might be some embedded thunder with it, but this is not a uh, severe threat uh, setup here. So this is just a all day, pretty much on Sunday, is going to be a, a wash, just some uh, scattered showers around throughout different parts of the day. So the better the two weekend days is looking like it's going to be on Saturday. And this has been consistently shown across all models and for the last couple of days has shown virtually the same thing. And then the system's going to pull away and leave us with a mostly sunny uh, go at it here on Monday and Tuesday with high pressure control. And actually the temperatures next week will, will be actually slightly below average for a couple of days. And uh, that will, uh, despite the mostly sunny skies, take a look at temperatures in the 70, 72-ish range here for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and then finally Wednesday, we have another system that's going to be making its way toward the region. Could give us a late day isolated thunderstorm, uh, but it will be a little bit warmer here on Wednesday ahead of this next cold front that's going to be coming through at that time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for May 30th, 2019. Have a great Thursday.